Hello, welcome to Unicorn Princess Tarot. So, ito yung reading natin for water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Take only what resonates for personal reading. Magpabok na lang po kayo kay Jing Tarot Reader. Search nyo lang po sa Facebook. And, if you are from Las Piñas, by the way, guys, baka gusto nyo nang i-check yung Ahan Restaurant, Yelis Restaurant, ayan, along Naga Road. Let's start our reading, guys. This is for water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ano ang meron sa uh, mga water sign? For water sign, please. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You do have here the Nine of Wands, the, the Fool. Ayan. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Nine of Wands. I feel like, um, water sign, nakikita natin na gusto mong mag-take ng risk about something na parang medyo challenging para sa'yo. The Nine of Wands, nandito na yung kagustuhan mo eh, Because you see this as something na magbibigay sa'yo ng stability. Hindi ba sa inyo, you want to, you're thinking about the past. This is a past uh, person. Ayan, with the three of cups and uh, might be sobrang nasasaktan at nahihirapan ka dito sa ending na nangyayari sa inyo. This time parang gusto mo na magkaroon ng interactions sa inyong dalawa. Nagbibigay ng stressful moment sa iyo yung pag-iisip lagi dito sa person na ito. I feel like um, there's a beautiful connection sa inyong dalawa. Kaya lang ang daming ano eh, ang daming hadlang or disruptions dito sa connection na ito. And I feel like gusto mo talagang mag-take ng risk na dito eh. We are thinking about this past person. Pwede hindi mo siya napansin dati or hindi mo napansin yung connection niya in the past. Who is this person? Nakakonect mo water sign. Sino itong person na nakakonect ni water sign? Wala, shuffle. The hermit is here. This is um, Virgo and Pisces energy with the moon. Very mysterious kind of energy. Misteriosa, misteriosa. You could always, uh, you could also be dealing with an introvert kind of energy kasi may vibe siyang parang introvert siya eh. But with the hermit, um, I feel like hindi siya umalis sa kanyang comfort zone. So, if you're the one na nag expect sa kanya na umalis sa kanyang comfort zone, that is never going to happen. Parang ganun. Parang ikaw yung kailangan talagang gumawa ng actions dito. And I feel like hindi mo na para i-ignore pa itong taong to or itong connection ninyo. With the moon, um, so pwedeng nagiging tahimik or very secretive or very silent lang itong person na ito sa ngayon. And, yung katahimikan niya, ito yung mas lalong nagkikwestiyon sa'yo. Ito yung mas lalong nagbibigay sa'yo ng attraction sa kanya. Like, nagkakaroon ng parang, kaya gusto mo lalong mag-take ng risk kasi parang nung naging tahimik na siya or hindi na siya gumagawa ng actions or whatsoever biglang parang ano na kaya nangyari doon parang ganun gusto mo na malaman kung ano nangyayari sa kanya ano yung emotion ninyo sa isa't isa I feel like this is also the person na laging lumalabas sa panaginip no Emotions in your say set is up. Please tell me.
for water sign, please. Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands. You do love this person. Nakikita mo siya ng, nakikita mo na parang gusto mo ng partnership or mas magandang connection sa inyong dalawa. Like, um, mas malalim pa sa connection ninyo. If you're friends, you want more that, you want more than that. If you are in a relationship, gusto mo ng engagement. If you're already engaged, you want marriage. You know, you want a deeper level of commitment sa inyong dalawa. Especially if this person, uh, lagi siya nagbibigay ng advice sa'yo or kung hindi man lagi, maybe in the past, lagi siya nagbibigay in the past ng advice sa'yo and you see this person na parang I want to be with this person, parang ganun. Gusto kong maging makasama itong taong ito. Because there's an un intense feeling or emotion na nanggagaling mula sa'yo. You have a lot of desire na bumalik or mag-take ng risk dito sa person na ito. So, ano emotion naman niya para sa'yo? You love the Ten of Cups. So, this person really do loves you. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, bottom of the deck is Ace of Wands. The star. Uh, this person, pwede yung mahal ka niya, but the chariot, I mean, maybe looking forward siya na mag-take ka rin ng action sa kanya. Kasi maybe in the past, marami siyang mga bigla ang actions and in the past, might be hindi mo pa alam yung gagawin mo. So, you don't know what actions ang kailangan mo ibalik sa kanya in the past. Pero ngayon, I feel like you are already awakened or alam mo na kung ano yung dapat mong gawain. You know your priorities. Uh, you're just trying to focus on, you know, building your trust sa sarili mo para magawa yung mga actions na dapat mong gawain. And I feel like, lalo na kung may mga nag advice sa'yo regarding on what to do, maaaring yun talaga yung dapat mong gawin. Maybe there are other people na alam yung nangyayari sa inyo. Especially if this is someone na malapit sa'yo or maybe a... Uh, an older woman in your life na pwedeng nagbibigay ng advice sa'yo regarding kung ano dapat gawain dito sa connection na ito. And I feel like all you have to do is to, you know, ituloy or gawaan, gawin yung action na ina-advise sa'yo nitong taong to. What will happen in the near future for you, what are signs? future for you water sign you do have the nine of cups the six of pentacles and the four of cups ace of pentacles the hierophant and the seven of pentacles bottom of the deck is the world um in the future, nakita tayo ng mga options sa'yo with the Nine of Cups. But with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like, kung sino itong tingin mo bumabalanse sa'yo, this is the one that you should pick. The Four of Cups, nakikita natin na maaaring maraming choices dito, maraming nagbibigay ng offer whatsoever, but you don't know who to choose, what to choose, what to do, etc. Pero yun nga, ang advice sa'yo is kung sino yung tingin mong magmamatch para sa'yo, the best one na magmamatch para sa'yo, maraming similarities, synchronicities. And I kita natin with the Ace of Pentacles, I, I can see an offer with you with regards to money. And I feel like for some of you, kailangan mo mag-travel. And this is something very important kasi ito yung might be in the future, magbibigay ng malaking outcome para sa'yo, like, hindi mo dapat ma-miss tong opportunity na to. The Hierophant, there's a teacher or an, or an advisor na maaaring dumating sa buhay ng person na ito, ng person na connect mo, and I feel like mas magiging mas focus siya sa money because of the presence of this person. The world is here. So, actually, this is an advice advice for you the, na you have to be more open and be more accept. Yung, kumbaga, be more open and learn to accept who you are, what you truly feel. Ayan, kung ano yung emotions mo, kung ano ka talaga. Dapat matutunan mo tanggapin yun. And the Eight of Pentacles, 
Yeah, I can see you working hard pagdating sa iyong money, pagdating sa iyong career. Um, kung ano man niya itong mga bagay na uh, I can see these people na nagagalit sa'yo, umaaway sa'yo there's a lot of challenges and kaguluhan dito, I mean wag mong stressin yung sarili mo, you can get out of that situation, whether it has something to do with career or love kung hindi ka na masaya, lagi nagkakaroon ng pag-aaway, pagkakagulo, umalis ka na lang you know, mag take ka na lang ng risks sa mga bago, okay whether yun ay sa career Pagdating sa home, maybe should it's time for you to leave the home na very, very toxic. You know, the night of swords and the night of wands, and you need to leave fast. No? Kasi ang nai-stress lang dyan naman ay ikaw. Ikaw lang din ang nahihirapan, etc. So, kung ano yung mga bagay na hindi na nag-work out para sa'yo, it's time for you to leave that situation. So, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I love you all. Please do like and subscribe. And please do comment down below. I love you all, guys. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.